Welcome back guys, Angel Khadija here, you're watching Angel Fox Gaming. So, you saw the title, and you're probably wondering, what's he talking about? What's this guy going to rant about? Well, <laughs> I didn't want to do it, but apparently it just comes that time where you're going to have to do one of those videos. So this is my Division rant. Now, before we get into the rant, <laughs> you see these nice looking characters? This is my two characters. This character supposed, supposedly was supposed to be my healing character, or my um, support character, and then this character is my DPS character. Uh, DPS tank. It's not... yeah. The aim, the goal for this one was to have at least close to 200k DPS while still having at least 100k HP. Still working on perfecting that goal. I think I'm around 80k HP and probably 190k DPS. I have to double check that. And this character is supposed to be the support character. Well, he's supposed to be support. He's just supposed to have HP and skill power. Um, right now he's wearing the tactician set, so his skill power is where the money should be. But after playing with the tactician set, I realized that I need to recalibrate the entire tactician set and spec this guy for damage with the tactician set to be my healing set, but only once the combat begins. Well, I'll explain more about that if I actually get to that in the future. But today is not about explaining my classes today. As you can see, the title is it's called the Division Rant because this game deserves a rant. Now, you must be wondering right now, what, what what am I going to rant about? I mean, this game was my prized gem. Uh, Day Fox said I was obsessed. Everybody accused me of being obsessed with this game. Accused me of being a addict. Accused me that this game is not as great as I make it out to be. Well, today, I finally stopped drinking the Kool-Aid. And I realized that Kool-Aid was a whole bunch of bullshit that they just been feeding me all this time. The Division rant is exactly what happened. And here we go with the rant. First of all, what is the other rant about? The rant is only possible because of the 1.2 update. I think that's what they called it, right? The 1.2 update? Because God knows, there was never a 1.1 update. I mean... Yeah, there was never a 1.1 update. Because that was... The, I mean, that 1.1 update that they had, that was not a major update. So how is it the 1.1 update? I mean, I guess their first update... So the game had two updates since its launch. One and two. So, welcome to 1.2 update, which I like to call the Glitch Fest. Because apparently that's all this update did. Glitch the entire game. Oh, God. Where do we begin with the glitches? First of all, let's let's give a breakdown of the update. Um, the 1.2 update was supposed to bring new things to the division. First of all, I'm open my menu. It was supposed to bring a new gear set. Now I already have acquired all the gear sets that I actually dreamed of wanted. It's supposed to bring new gear sets, which are higher level above the high end gear set, which is yellow. And this is it, a green, a green kind of color. These are not your starter greens. These are higher end. Um, starters. Basically, you have four of these sets, and you get a set bonus, and then you, uh, then you can mix and match two sets. Basically, there are set bonus. Having two pieces of army gives you two bonus. Three pieces give you three bonus. Having four gives you a fourth bonus. Um, so on this character, as I said, this is the DPS tank. As I said, I'm still specking him up. Um, I think this is actually what I run on a regular basis. So yes, I'm close to 10,000 HP, and I'm close to 109,000 HP. And um, I think I am 90,000 HP because, um, yeah, this is what I run Macy, so I'm like 6,000 da no, 6, damage off the mark. Um, so yeah, new gear sets is supposed to bring some new things to the game. Now, the gear sets work as intended. The what, what, so why am I ranting? Rewards received. We have excuse the issue affecting your gaming experience? Did they fix the pa- I, I swear to God, if they fix that thing, because I was about to rant about the incursion. Here it is. This thing that they put over here called the incursion. This was supposed to be their awesome solution to a raid, to a high-end raid, to a difficult ma difficult mission that players could tackle strategically, forcing them to use the game as it was intended. Which, first of all, I played it and no, it doesn't force you to use the game as intended because apparently the only way you can beat the incursion is to cower like a little, little chicken under a, um, a trench in the middle of the map. How is that supposed to be playing the game as intended? I have no idea. There's no way. I've never seen any other team beating the game without cowering down in that trench. That's because it's just, it makes no sense. It's a cover-based system, and there's no place for you to cover. Like, really. Okay. Oh, this is not the worst update. 
brutal. Works in my set. I'm sorry. I'm getting distracted. Uh, they had an update of every Friday the stocks of the um, inventory resets for the vendors. So I haven't logged back in in a couple of days. Well, I've been away because, as I tell you, the game right now is just mad buggy. It's just unplayable, uninteresting. It's just it. It doesn't. It just the fun is just not there. It it was fun when I first started playing it and wouldn't wouldn't want to stop playing it. And then now the game is just mad broken. It's just s sadly broken. That's what it is. It's just broken. And <laughs> it doesn't seem like the developers have any intentions of fixing it. Or then again, they had intentions of fixing it, but just their delivery on those intentions, in my opinion, was just not there. So, let's get into talking about, I'm just going to collect all this stuff while I'm here because who knows, I may never log in for another, another, another couple of days. It seems to me they probably had fixed the glitch because none of my friends are online and by this time they'll be online probably gl gl glitching out the game. But apparently, hey, who doesn't like a good glitch? Well, apparently when the glitch is, is, is breaking the game, that's basically for me where the game loses all its value. I sp I paid 60 bucks on the game not to play. If I wanted to play something that was glitchy, I would not have spent 60 bucks on the game. Actually, I spent $100 because I got the season pass included. So I wouldn't have spent $100 on the game if I wanted to just glitch my way to the end game. And at that point, I would probably just go pirate the damn game and then glitch my way to the end game. Because why would I spend $100 only to glitch the game? Yeah. Soak that up for a second. Okay. So, their 1.2 patch launched and it brought with us the incursions. Basically, a new mode where you can go, as you can see, and get hot. Factions now the that new. Um, this woman needs to shut up. Quite sure what these guys are after. Hold on, one second. Stop transmission. Great, wonderful. Uh, so, basically, yeah, to get the new gear that I'm wearing, the green gear, you'd have to run here or you'd have to find it as a drop in the dark zone. So, let's talk about the incursion. First of all, the incursion launch was probably the worst they have ever had. I mean, Assassin's Creed Unity was horrible when it comes to bugs, glitches, and all that stuff. You can just, you get stuck, go through walls everywhere. Well, apparently, this came right over to the Division. They launched that game um the incursions update was launched and it was buggy uh, within the first week players found a way to glitch the level and beat the boss without even trying collecting the loot farming the loot and collecting it without even trying um they probably may have fixed it by now but if you remember correctly that patch was deployed on the 12th of April. So if you do the calculations from the 12th of April and today is the 23rd, it's been about 10 days and it took them, they, I mean, 10 days. So players have already farmed the crap out of that glitch. There's no point to play the game anymore because they've already attained maximum endgame status once again without trying. Um... So apparently, I guess they gave me Phoenix credits because they broke the game. I guess that's supposed to solve everything. Time, huh? Apparently. So, I mean, it's... That's basically what it is. The game just completely lost its fun. If you, I usually have three friends that are online constantly I can just hop in and play with. They aren't even here. Because why? The game is just got boring. It's just glitches every single where you go. The Dark Zone has this, his set of glitches, which they haven't fixed yet. You can glitch into the wall and just stay in the wall and kill players. And, rank, and, get, and get free bounties. Just rank yourself all the way up. Go up to Manhunt, go into the wall and stay in there. And just wait for your Manhunt timer to go down. Also, there are places where you can just go, go Manhunt, glitch into the wall. It will teleport you to the safe house. And then you just sit there until your timer goes away. So, you can easily just rank up to level 99 without, to 99, Dark Show 99, without even trying. And those are the glitches that are just breaking the game because there are players running around abusing these glitches, killing people, and they're hiding in these glitch spots. And then you're frustrated because you can't kill them. They killed you, stole your loot, and now you have to sit there and watch them get the manhunt status from five minutes down to zero and then extract your loot because guess what you go and trying to kill them you're gonna be branded as rogue and guess what everybody's gonna come and kill you and the game is punishing players who just don't want to participate in these glitches it's just glitches everywhere you go right now and it's annoying as hell because I didn't pay a hundred dollars to glitch my way to the game if I wanted to just glitch out thing and just 
be a sore loser and just glitch everywhere I go. I would have just pirated the damn game. And nobody can tell me that's what you... you I'll ask a question. Would you spend $100 on the game to come in here and just hack your way to through the end? Hell no. Why do you waste $100 on the game if you want to hack your way to the end? Get the pirated version of the game and then just hack your way to the end. Like, seriously, why would you have to spend 100 bucks so that you can hack your way to the end? And I'm not saying everybody is a, ha is a hacker. It's just that these glitches, player the players in this game have no moral compass whatsoever. These glitches come about, and instead of just ignoring them, they went and abused them. I can understand two, four times is okay. But I know a player who sat down for seven hours and did the glitch for seven hours straight she and that's in one day she beat that glitch in 30 minutes two times in an hour she did the glitch 14 times within seven hours every single day so if you calculate it it's been 10 days since the glitch has been up 10 days that's 14 uh, seven hours a day that's 70 hours across 10 days and if you do the time 770 hours times up two she glitched 140 times now that's a little bit excessive 140 times to abuse a glitch that's way too damn excessive like seriously uh, as I said 10 times one or two but 140 times over the course of 70 hours nah that's madness that is madness, and it took them that long to fix, fix it. Why? I have no idea. For other MMOs I've played, when something like this happens, there's a simple fix. Turn it off! Like, I've played so many MMOs, and they would, when something like this happened, that breaks the game, got a rioter takeover at Madison Square Garden. they would just, the um... And Sarah were using the site as a field hold hospital. on one second. Can I mute this one? Okay. We've got a lot of hostiles inside, hold agents. One second. They're holding Dr. Candle and her staff. We need Just those gonna... personnel back at the no, base so we can get the medical wing functional. Where is it? Dialogue music. Turn this off. Technically, I really don't need a dialogue because I know the mission. Okay, so back to what I was saying. There are other MMOs I've played where um, when glitches like this come about, the developers would basically just shut off that whatever it is if it's a new raid they introduce and the raid was buggy as hell the players were just breezing through it then the developers would just shut it off they would just turn it off tell players you won't be able to play it until they fix the problem one of the more games that did this and as bad as that game turned out to be and i admired them for it was destiny when the when the um Shadow Hunter was bugged till you can just use infinite quick. Uh, they took like probably five days, I think. I think it was five days. Uh, when the Shadow Hunter was bugged, that you can use. Um, I think it was um, Quiver Shot. That's what that. Yeah, Quiver Shot was bugged. That you can just use infinite Quiver Shots in the PVP match, or basically in anywhere PVP and PVE. Then the first thing they did was turn it off. They didn't just leave it there and say, "Oh, we're gonna punish players for." Um, using this glitch. No, the glitch was on their end. The players had nothing to do with it. The players just figured out their glitch and they abused it. Nope, what Ubisoft decided to do is come out with an official statement saying they're gonna punish people for partaking in glitches and cheating. Okay, cheating, I understand. You always wanna punish cheaters. Cheaters should be punished. But you're gonna punish people for participating in glitches? Are you kidding me? Like, seriously? Where in the world have you ever heard such nonsense? I didn't cheat the game. I didn't glitch the game. You, you, you basically gave me a bad copy of your game. So why am I being punished for that? Yeah, soak that in. Ask yourself the question and see if it makes any sense because it doesn't make any sense whatsoever to me. Even though I abused the glitch, it's not my fault the glitch is there. I didn't put it there, you did. You sold me the game with the glitch, so. That has nothing to do with me at the end of the day. That has to do with you. If I choose to abuse the glitch, well, that's basically my choice. Once again. So, another thing. Back to what I was talking about. Like, Destiny. Destiny had the Shadow Hunter that was bugged. And instead of just sitting down there and not fixing the problem, what they did was they turned off the, the quick, um, the quiver. They turned off the ability quiver. So that players couldn't use it anymore. So that the glitch would just, well, it didn't stop. They turned it off. 
so that they can fix it. So players had to just completely change the way how they play the damn game because the one thing that they relied on most in PvP is been turned off so that they can fix it. Now, Ubisoft could have done this. They could have turned off... Okay, video just stopped. Not pretty sure why. But yeah, they could have turned off incursions to fix it so that they can apologize for their mistake. But instead, they didn't. They, they didn't. They basically just posted the message, as I said, saying that they're going to punish people for participating in, in the glitch. And just left it at that. They didn't turn it off. They didn't try and stop it. No. No, they just left it. So what players did, players just farmed the hell out of the glitch. And for me, that was a big thing. Because I want, the whole reason I play this game is for the challenge. I love I love the difficulty of this game. I may sit down and curse and get frustrated, but that's all a part of me enjoying the damn game. After I spend two hours trying to beat one single mission, at the end of the mission, I will feel very good at myself because, hey, I got to beat the mission. It may have took me two hours. I feel happy that I beat the mission and whatever loot I get from the boss, it feels rewarding. Glitching the game doesn't make anything feel rewarding. And as I said, once again, it comes back down to players and their morals. I mean, I, I mean, everybody has a different morals. Everybody have what they want out of the game. But the fact is, the developers should not have target players saying that they were gonna punish them for participating in glitches because apparently, it's not our fault. The game is glitched. It's theirs. It's not our fault at all. So that is just a big no-no. Yeah, right now the division is just uninteresting to play. PvP is unbalanced as hell, and I know I tell you because if you watch any of my videos, you've just watched me and my teammates just wreck people in the dark zone, and that's because PvP is as unbalanced as anything I've ever seen. Like, first of all, SMGs need 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 to be in check because SMGs are stupidly overpowered. They need a damage reduction to the bullet to, to their bullet. Assault rifles are on the power. They need a more higher of a damage, a da damage buff to them. But right now the game is just really unbalanced, and once again, it doesn't seem the developers are doing anything to fix it, anything at all. Right now SMG. Right now you can dominate PVP with just an SMG. Uh, you could probably dominate anything with just an SMG. I'm probably gonna prove it to you right now. This ad may be low level, but I'm just probably gonna run to the boss and just unload my entire SMG clip into him, and he will go down. I can replay the mission and do it with my assault rifle, and you'll realize it takes a lot more. It takes a lot more bullets. So SMGs have this insane crit damage buff to them already. No, like no, there's only a few weapons in the game that have a standard buff. SMGs have a standard buff which is they do crit they do bonus crit damage. So I don't think their damage per bullet should be as high as what they are right now. So right now they just stupidly overbalance. And as I said, we have had the 1.2 update and they haven't done anything to fix this at all. Anything to fix this. Uh, if you watch as, as, as like all oh, all my shots that I do, it's crit. There's, there's like hardly any of my shots that in in the white. Uh, yellow is crit, blue is armor damage, um, and white is regular damage. If you look, there's like see out of all that shot, I got armor damage and one white damage. So basically, my SMG is just uh, and red is head headshot damage. So it's just ridiculous that SMGs are so overpowered. Sorry about that. I'm playing this live. This is not re pre-recorded gameplay. So I'm playing this as I'm talking to you guys. And yep, that's basically it. That's let's get another thing to talk about is the changes that has come to the dark zone. It comes in the form of a thing called supply drops. Now these supply drops is probably one of the most pissing off mediocre thing I've seen in any game ever. God, I can't express how depressing this is, really. I, I just can't. I can't de explain at all how depressing these supply drop missions are. These supply drop missions are like little objectives that happen in the dark zone. So apparently they change up some stuff and now every single boss you kill drops a gold item. But apparently the supply drops give you purple items. You have a chance of getting purple items out of the loot table. 
Now, this is the part that pisses me off a lot. You're going to change the dark zone so that every boss drops you a gold item or a high-end item. But you couldn't make that every supply drop drops you a high-end item. Apparently, you can do that. No, that 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 never crossed their mind. And technically, a supply drop is supposed to be an event. Why am I going to go into the dark zone to open a supply drop that gives me a purple item? Now, the it's a random roll. You can get a purple out of it, you can get a high-end out of it, or you can get one of the new gear set that I'm wearing, these these greens, out of it. But the fact of the matter is, why is purple included in the loot table? Purple should not be included in that loot table at all. They should not be purple in the loot table. They shouldn't be any purple in the loot table. I, I, I really don't need to emphasize that fact anymore. They shouldn't be purple in the loot table because all the bosses drop high-end. So... The supply drop is technically a boss event. First person to go clear the ads, which are difficult. I mean, the ads are difficult. You're basically, you're given a time trial to take out the ads. Now, remember, there are other players trying to claim the supply drop. Um, the supply drop is basically an open event that you or another player can be claimed. So while you're claiming the supply drop, another player can come up behind you and shoot you in your back and kill you and take the supply drop. Because while you're claiming it, Either you're going to stop pressing that button to fight them, or you, you're going to hope to God that you pick it up before you die. And that's basically how it is. That is literally how it is. So the fact of the matter is the rewards of supply drop, why is there purple in the loot table? That's probably the most puzzling thing to me, and probably the most pissing off thing for me too. It should be high end and the greens. If they want to make the greens a little harder to drop, fine. But don't add purple to the loot table. Purple helps nobody. At our stage, purple helps nobody. Like, this is the high-end item I got. It's Gear School 163. The one I'm wearing is Gear School 182. I mean, yeah. How does this help me? And the one that I can switch to is Gear School 191. So, getting the purple is going to drop me onto the Gear School 161. Because no purple is Gear School 161, from what I know. High-end is the lowest. Is Yeah, so getting the purple, that just completely shatters the Gear Score. Like, seriously. So, I mean, right now this game is just, as I said, the rant, today's rant is because this game is buggy. It's it's become, oh, one of my friends finally came on. What is he doing? Dark Zone. He's in the Dark Zone. This is one of the guys I'm telling you. As you can see, he's 222. Your max gear score is 230. So he's been doing the glitch a lot. I'll probably text him and ask them if they patch the, um, the incursions. But if they don't, um, if, he, if, if he tells me that they don't, I'm telling you. I'm probably not going to play the division again. It's just, as I said, uninteresting. Most of these weapons, I'll sit down here farming bosses and cra farming crafting materials. And then now that the glitch is there and players can just go and just infinitely glitch a level and just get all this stuff that I I've been spending my hard time farming. It just feels really damn pointless. Like, really pointless playing the game. Really pointless. And uh, it's depressingly pointless. So, with that said, guys, I'm going to call today's brand video to an end. And, um, yeah, as I said, I don't know when I'll be bringing out another Division video. Because if they really don't fix the incursions, I've lost all interest to come back and play this. Matter of fact, I still pretty much have no intentions to come back and play this after what they've done. I mean, seriously, it's... This game was up there. It was supposed to be one of the good games to get this year. One of the alternatives to us Destiny players. While we wait for Destiny to get this act together. And apparently Destiny tried to get the act together. In which the April 12th update. Well we'll talk about that in another video. Probably have to do a rant for that too. But I, I don't plan on making a series of rant videos. Because there's no point in ranting about something. I mean I bought the game to enjoy it. And if I'm going to have to make a rant video for every game that I bought to enjoy. It's pre I'm pretty sure I'm just going to stop buying games. Because I mean that's. I, I just said it. I bought the game to enjoy it. Sitting down here making a rant video. Is not my definition of enjoying something. Ooh, shadow. So, as I said, for this game, it has many cool features. The game detail is astounding. For a realistic game, it looks really beautiful. It's gorgeous. I can go on and on about how gorgeous this thing looks. How it feels. If you look at the lighting system, the world light, it's just really detailed. But the problem is, if they don't fix the gameplay, all this detail, all this icing on top of the cake ain't going to do shit for nobody. Once again, they need to buff some of the weapons because the weapons are just crazy on the buffs, especially 
this, the RPK model of weapons, is just stupidly on the buffed. Um, they need to be brought up. Um, there's just so many weapon rebounds and it needs to be done. And the developers hasn't even posted or tweeted a message or a news that's saying that they're working on a weapon rebalance. I mean, we've already had our first major patch and they didn't do anything to rebalance any of the weapons. That That is a bad sign because it means you're just going to have to stick out. I mean, you want to go into Dark Zone, you want to engage players in PvP, you're going to be forced to use a handful of weapons. And it's going to be either the AUG, the MP5, or I think is the Black Market um, AK-74, which is an assault rifle. The only reason you're going to resort to that is it can, if you get it with the right perks, you can dominate with it. And other, the other weapon is this that I'm using, the ACR. This thing is basically a bullet holes of an um, it's basically a, a MP5 assault rifle. That's basically what it is. It it fires as fast as an SMG. It has, as you can see, it has amazing stability, and it has 55 bullets in the clip. Uh, if you want to even do the counts, um, as you can see, the MP5 has a little bit of recoil, a little hard to control, but this guy. If you want, you can just sit this guy on a player's head and you just do this insane damage. So, these are like the go-to weapons. There's so many other assault weapons that are just completely overlooked. The AK can use a little bit of a buff when it comes to the ability and a little bit of damage buff. You have the M14. I can go down the list. Shotguns. Right now, I'm not seeing shotguns being used so much. And that's one reason I love this game. When I first got this game, shotguns were really popping. But as you get to the end game, you realize you quickly stop using shotguns. Probably the best shotgun is to get, especially with PvP, will be the Super Marine because it's a fast-firing shotgun and it does a decent amount of damage. It also has a decent amount of range to it. Uh, with that said, yeah, they really need to get get some weapon rebalancing done. Uh, pistols, uh, I really don't use them, um, so I can't comment about this. I haven't used pistols on players or NPCs. It's just there because it carries up my gear score. But so far, from most of the weapons that I've used, there's some serious issues. Also, there's still a few glitches that are here. First of all, like this one. This, this is a bug that's been here since day one. This armor is reckless. Increase damage by 13% and increase the incoming damage by t damage you take by 10%. This is bugged. The second half of this is not working. And it's been like that since the game launched. The game launched all the way in March. We're in April, going to May, and they haven't fixed this one bug. So apparently everybody, including myself, I mean, as I said, there are some glitches you can use to your advantage, but... When it's a game-breaking glitch like the incursions, I don't stand for it at all. This is just a glitch that gives me damage. The thing is, I don't take... I'm supposed to take a bonus of... Where it is? There's a stat somewhere around here. Not there. Survivability. Here it is. All damage resilience. This is supposed to be negative 10%. But apparently, it's positive 10%. Meaning, it's not working. Instead of actually allow me to take more damage it's actually allow me to block more damage so if this is supposed to be a negative 10 percent for whatever reason they haven't patched this up to today and it's been like this since the game launched um i don't even know what to say that there's other there's other items with perks that were glitched uh, i think there's an um i think it's this one where is it? I think I have it on here. Sustained is glitched. Sustained is a, the sustained talent is supposed to give you back. Um, it's supposed to increase your HP. No, it's, I don't think it's sustained. I think it's predator. I don't have a weapon with it, but I think that's that, that's what the perk is called. Predator. Predator is basically the same opposite to sustained. Whenever you kill a target, you're gonna get a percentage of your HP back over five seconds. This doesn't work. It's not working as it intended. Instead, whenever you kill a target, you basically get that percentage of HP back every second for five seconds. Which, that is not what the, the talent reads. The talent reads, if you kill a target, you'll get 13% of your HP over five seconds. 30% of your HP. If you have 100 HP, you get 30% of that. You're supposed to get 13 13 HP over the course of five seconds. However, it calculates and cuts that up. At the end of five seconds, you should have recovered 13, 8, 13 HP. But it's bugged, 
and it's been bugged from day one. So apparently, instead of recovering 13 HP over five seconds, you get 13 HP per second, and you're sorry about that. My mic just disconnected. <laughs> um, yeah. So basically, here's where you're gonna see that problem now. Instead, instead of getting 13 HP over five seconds, you're getting 13. Sorry about that. I'm not pretty sure what happened. I think my mic stopped working and then the game stopped recording. Not pretty sure. <laughs> I'm not pretty sure where it left off. But um like I said, there's so much bugs and glitches right now. The game is just at this at this stage kind of uninteresting to play. Because now it's all about finding the next next glitch or finding the next bug. Uh or encountering. You can't even go into the dark zone without actually encountering another glitch or encountering another bug. And last week there was a bug. I'm not pretty sure if, if it was official, but there was a bug that allowed players not to not to take any damage after using um, I don't even remember what it was. It was something. I don't even know if they, they if that was an official statement as a bug or if they even fixed it. Uh, honestly, I'm really, at this point I really don't care. As I said, my interest to play this game is just dropped so low. It's just it's it's kind of scary because if Day Fox if Day Fox was here on, on the stream with me. He would have probably told you guys how much I wouldn't shut up about this game, how much I couldn't stop posting pictures or showing him stuff in the game. Is it, it was I, I, I became I, I became uh, annoying to him. That's basically it. I annoyed the hell out of him when this game dropped, and for me to say all this about the game now, yeah, it's just a big turnaround, and that's because my experience in this game has just slowly declined from what it was. It's, it's just not fun anymore. It's not fun to go and play anymore. It feels more like a chore. It feels you have to drag yourself through it. And if, if I'm going to drag myself through a game, I'm just not going to play it. Because where's the fun in dragging yourself through a game? Where's the fun in that? There's no fun at all. So um, I'm going to end the rant video here because uh, honestly, I'm getting. I'm, I'm, I'm so not interested in playing this anymore. I'm not interested in talking about it anymore. So I'm just going to log out. And I'm gonna call it a day here, guys. Um, Angel Kid DJ here. Out. I plan. I don't plan on doing rant videos as a series, but let me know what you guys think of this rant video. Um, if any of the points that you guys have encountered while playing the game, what do you think on glitches and players abusing the glitch, all that kind of stuff. Um, what do you think about Ubisoft's newest article, which said they will punish cheaters and people who glitch up, uh, people who use glitches. Well, cheaters part I can understand, but the using glitch part. I can never no that doesn't make any sense whatsoever cuz I mean the glitch is not part cheating but anyways um yeah let me know what you guys think uh I plan I don't really plan on doing a rant video I probably suck at this but um I'm just being honest right now I'm just talking I'm just letting my mind go and then just talking whatever comes to my mind so until next time guys you guys take it easy and hopefully you guys don't get caught in the same same predicament that I got caught in when you guys are playing the division. So try your best to make it fun. Enjoy your gameplay, guys, because I'm definitely not enjoying mine. So until next time, and as I said, I don't know when I'll be able to make another video for the division because until it changes or gets some kind of major patch, I'm really not interested in playing it. So guys, until next time, or until whenever I get to upload another another division video, until when they fix it. Take it easy, guys.